Can you say hi to our friends? Say hi. already <laughs> but my tv was on and it was so loud and i was like what was i thinking but i've also been wanting to film this video for a week now so hi chopper <laughs> so every day i said i'm gonna get ready and i'm gonna look cute for this video and life happens oh so i decided hi buddy i decided i'm going to film this video today in my paint shirt my leggings my hair in a mom bun my glasses on, my big glasses on, and see how it goes. You're getting the real, this is what I would wear for a normal day crafting anyway, so you're getting the real me. So I've seen this craft a million times. Pause, I gotta take Topper out. Okay, I'm back you guys. So I've seen this craft a million times, and I've been wanting to do it, so this is a perfect time. Now that we have loose day, I want to start a lot more traditions, and this is a great way to do that. So this is a fall bucket list and so I just have a mason jar and then originally I had seen this with like popsicle sticks and they would stick the popsicle sticks in there with their activities they want to do but I went to the grocery store and I couldn't find any popsicle sticks because I live in Timbuktu so I found these clothespins just basic clothespins and I thought I'll write those I do, activities I want to do on the clothespins around put them around the mason jar and then as we do the activity I can just stick them inside and hopefully by the end of the season there will be no more clothespins and it'll just be a jar sitting on my mantle. So we're just gonna paint the clothespins and I have a list of activities I want to do this season and do with Lucy Goose. And I think it's such an easy project to do anyone can really do it just find a jar go to the thrift store and find a jar Clothespins are probably only a few bucks where you live. They're a little more expensive where I live, but you could do it for probably under, definitely under $10. My paint's drying and I'm feeding my baby. Well, 
life of a crafting mom. Okay, so you're at a new angle. Don't mind the paint hands, but I want to start off by saying I'm not perfect. I want to clarify I am not a professional crafter. If you can be a professional crafter, you can do whatever the heck you want. So you can be a professional crafter if you want to. I mean, that would be our dream job, right? Anyways, tangent. But anyways, so I started off, you saw me painting the whole thing, all of these, like all the way around, I mean. And I think they just look sloppy and messy and I just don't like the colors I did. I don't like the way it came out. And that's what I mean, I'm not perfect. Like, the best thing about crafting is that you can just do whatever the heck you want. <laughs> and you can switch things up if you want to. So, this is what I went with. I decided not to paint the whole thing, just the top layer. I used like a gradient and I just was mixing colors, honestly. I wasn't doing anything specific. I can't tell you the colors I was using. Lucy Goose is watching me. Can't wait for her to do little crafts with me. But for now, yeah, I just did the top layer. Like I said, just have fun with it. Have your kids do it with you. I mean, it's such an easy thing to do. Just slap some paint on some clothespins. But I'm waiting for the paint to dry. And then I'll be able to share what my activities I'm going to put on my fall bucket list. But please put in the comments below some of the activities you guys want to do and you guys are planning on doing with your families. Maybe I can add some more to my basket or my jar. Yeah. Hey guys, I know I move all over my couch. I can never get comfortable. So anyways, I wanted to share the things I wrote on my pins. So we'll start with the brown one. I wrote turkey day, tur turkey dinner. Because we know we're going to have a yummy Thanksgiving dinner. And then I put a fall festival. Greenville has been doing an October fest every year. This year I think they're going to do a September fest. So we're definitely going to go to that with Lucy. And then carve the perfect pumpkin. This is a tradition we have done every year. And I don't plan on stopping now. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. Um, make a thankful list. We have yet to do this. And I think it would be really fun to share this maybe for Thanksgiving. So that one will be nice. Have a Halloween movie night. We aren't into scary movies or anything, but they have still so many fun Halloween movies that are great for families like Halloween Town and Hocus Pocus, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. They're all still great family movies that aren't really scary scary, so those are nice. Um, and we watch them every year anyways. <laughs> Make leaf art. That one I really want to start doing with Lucy throughout the years as she's growing. We can have like art to look back on, so that'll be fun. Take a scenic drive. We are going on a road trip this fall, but I don't think I want to count that as that. I want to go just in the mountains and like check out all the beautiful trees and all that. Do a random act of kindness. If you have any ideas, leave them down below. Pumpkin spice chai. My go-to basic white girl drink is a pumpkin spice pumpkin spice chai. I'm not a huge pumpkin spice latte fan, but I'm a go-to for the chai, especially on a rainy day. Uh, bake a fall dessert. I love going on Pinterest and looking at all the fun little festive things. Maybe we'll have like a little Halloween night or something and we can do that. Oh, and last but not least, go to a football game. I've already gone to two, as you guys have seen. But I definitely want to still go to homecoming. And so after that, I think I'll drop the pin in my jar. But yeah, so this is really fun craft. It was super easy, you guys. If you guys decide to make the craft, tag me on Instagram. My handle is right here. If you don't already follow me on Instagram. But yeah, tag me. Let me see your guys's the activities you're gonna do with your family for fall and leave in the comments below what other activities there are to do if I didn't list some of the ones you're gonna do as well as I had one more I just said it what was it oh what our random act of kindness should be this month <laughs> our mantel piece right above our TV and I placed it right there and I think it looks so good. And then as we do the things, we will just drop them inside. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more crafts. Thumbs up, can you give them a thumbs up? 
and subscribe if you want to see more of this cutie growing up. She's doing it so fast. I'm growing up so fast. Oh, mm.